Um, I think cr creativity um, is one of the most important things when you step on the pitch. Um, there's lots of stuff that you can train for, like tactics and uh, and other stuff. But um, when it comes to creativity, I think it's just something um, that has to happen um, spontaneous. So whenever you get the ball, um, I don't think that you have lots of time and um, lots, lots of the times or most of the times you just need to use your creativity. And um, I think, um, yeah, you need to spend as much time as you can um, with the ball to get as creative as you can. And that doesn't mean it's just for midfielders. I think it's uh, everywhere on the pitch. So I think creativity creativity is a very important tool um, that will help you um, on the pitch. You said you're used to train two, three times a week. What was this training sort of like? Was it structured, unstructured, games? Uh, How did... Yeah, I think at the beginning it was more about fun. I mean, um, when it's like under five, or under, under six, um, you don't train um, tactics or, or stuff like that. So it was all about um, having fun, um, playing games and all these uh, things. But and then once um, I got older, training obviously changed. I mean, at this time it was um, still, even in the youth, when I um, moved to Schalke, more about just um, playing football. Um, now I know even in Germany, they start to do lots of um, gym and uh, physical work and stuff um, with those young kids. But at the time when I was younger, it was just all about um, yeah, being with the ball and, and doing stuff with the ball. So the ball was always um, with us. Yeah, so massive sort of uh, element on you with the ball and also having fun, right? Yeah. And outside of um, that train, you said you used to play with your friends with any sort of Anything in particular you did, or was it just always playing games? Or? Yeah, I mean, um, where I lived, there was a small um, pitch. Um, it wasn't even grass. It was just like this, like ashes, you know, this like. I yeah. Don't know. Um, yeah. Um, so we just um, went there every day and um, played like all day after school until um, we had to go to sleep and um, played little games, tournaments. Um, we used to play a game, we called it World Cup. So one guy, like on one goal, one um, uh, guy goes into the goal, normally the loser. And um, all the other um, players, uh, each player selects um, a nation. And then you play like every each, everyone against everyone. And when you score a goal, you are into the next round. And um, the last one um, just uh, gets out and yeah, you just play that until um, the final and then who wins it um, won, won the World Cup. So this one of um, what was one of my favorite games. He was playing um, at Schalke from the lowest grade, like from the under five. And he was always very, very um, small. So, um, and we played together and went, went to the school. He is one year older than me, but I always skipped um, one age group. So we always played together. And from the under 15 to the under 17, um, he was really still um, small. And for a keeper, you have to be uh, tall, right? Um, so they were thinking about not um, getting him for the next age group. So they normally you just like from one age group to the other, you just take the best players and maybe half of the players stay, half of the players have to leave and then they just fill the squad with um, better players and they were really um, almost sending him away because um, they thought he would be too small. And then the under 17th coach, um, he really believed in him and he um, saw that he had just incredible um, talent apart from yeah, not being the tallest, but he said nah, he wants to take him and took him um, as, as the second keeper at the time. And then the year after he just grew by like 20 or 30 centimeters in, in one year and um, the rest is just history. So um, I think that's an example where um, you really um, yeah, always have to be positive and work as much as you can and not give up even if 
people tell you um, that you maybe won't make it? Yeah, I think that's super important and also for <coughs> coaches and players to look at maybe what players can do rather than what they can't do. In Germany, when I was young, um, I did extras every day. Like after every training, um, the assistant coach, um, we asked him if we can, if we can do some uh, stuff with us and like long balls, um, finishing left foot, right foot, first touch. I mean, even if you have a good first touch, even if you um, have a good control, those are things you can always improve. Um, and yeah, we did uh, extras uh, almost every day, even if it's just for 10, 15 minutes. But um, yeah, we did extras every day. And so when you say every day, were you training? No, I was training every day, every, every day. Yeah, nice. Um, and someone asked, uh, what can players do to develop themselves if they want to be a creative midfielder? What sort of things should they look to improve? Look, I mean, I think um, it's important that you have a look as a, at a player that you really like, who is creative, let's say De Bruyne, but it's a little bit hard on TV. <coughs> um, but when I was um, when I was younger, um, I when I watched football, I focused on the player. You know, I didn't focus on the whole game. I, if I um, wanted to be like like wanted to play the same style like one player, I focused on him during the whole game to see what is he doing um, when he's not uh, with the ball. Where is he going to to ask for the ball? So I think this is all um, stuff that uh, players, um, like young players, should uh, look after um, if they want to uh, play the same way. So look at those things. How um, put into the right direction? Basics. I mean, um, I don't think that if you, and I said it again, if you can juggle the ball a thousand times, that makes you being a creative uh, player. I think first touch um, is the most important uh, thing and um, get some uh, exercises and stuff where you train to to know what's happening um, around you before you receive the ball yeah nice so awareness and first touch so someone else asked what do you think defines a talented footballer what good, are the sort of key attributes good good question um, also, I said it before, I saw players um, on my way um, that I would say they were really not um, the most talented, but they just had um, the mentality and um, they had the effort every day in training and they wanted it so bad that they still uh, made it. So I think talent is something as get the talent from from god um and, and others not but that doesn't mean that you can't make it so there's really lots of uh, players around um that are not um gifted or that are not um, the most talented but uh yeah they they still uh, made a very very good career so i wouldn't um define uh, two three four um key um attributes that you need to to uh, to make it